Bonjour, and welcome to this episode of Blackbird 10 Jam Unplugged. In this series, we explore everything that's possible with Blackberry 10. It's SDKs today and tomorrow. Today, we're joined by Rob Williams, who is one of our application development consultants. He's here to talk to us a little bit about connectivity. Rob grew up in the south of France. He loves everything French, but then he also moved to North America in the 80s because of his love of fingerless gloves. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My love of fingerless gloves is overrated. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, Rob, that was an interesting outburst. Um, how about we start off a little bit of talking about, um, you know, what are some of the connection technologies on BlackBerry 10 and the things that you can do to connect to the world around you? Right now, let's ignore cell. Everyone knows that a BlackBerry device is going to have great cell tower, cell phone connectivity. Let's think about other options. USB, HDMI, Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Direct. Right now, Wi-Fi Direct, we don't have, but soon Wi-Fi Direct is going to be opening up more options. So you can do device to device or device to printer transfers easily. Mm, very interesting. Now, if I were Johnny Mnemonic, would I be able to plug that USB port in the back of my head and direct into BlackBerry 10? Right now, depends. Do you have a USB host in your head? If you have a USB host mm. and you can talk TCP over one of the two compatible technologies, or if you can talk Android accessory protocol serial, definitely. Slightly in the future, if you're a USB slave, a BlackBerry 10 device will be able to talk USB master and send data to you. Well, that's very interesting. I have hosted many parties, some in my head, but I don't believe I have USB host mode in my head. Now, I, I do know that we have also provided Arduino boards. I believe that's how it's pronounced. To some of our developers out there at our conferences, mm -hmm. is, is there any interesting projects that you've heard that's been going on around Arduino? Oh. One of the coolest ones I've seen is Johan Larsby built himself a drum machine. Mm. He bought a Bluetooth shield to add to his Arduino board, mounted it on top. He connected with serial port profile, Bluetooth SPP, and he sends events over Bluetooth. So he has his BlackBerry 10 device in his hand. He touches the right area of his screen, sends a message over to the Arduino. The Arduino fires off a solenoid and doom, beautiful. That does sound very, very artistic. Now, I have heard of some other projects where people are integrating uh, Arduino into comic book vehicles. I'm not, I'm not sure what you mean, Bruce. Yes, so, uh, I, you know, it's Tim, actually. It's, it's a common mistake. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm just wondering, you know, uh, some of the different kinds of things that you might be able to do uh, outside of making a drum go with Arduino. Have you heard of other interesting projects? Oh yeah, Arduino, it's for prototyping. If you can build something on Arduino, you can miniaturize it and build something else. Um, some of the ADCs from the UK, they have Arduinos and Raspberry Pis doing weather stations in their backyard. Hmm. The Arduino platform is really powerful. You can get lots of sensors for it, lots of ways to communicate with it. But if you want to talk to a BlackBerry right now, you're going to need a USB shield hmm. so that you can be the host and talk Android accessory protocol or go to Bluetooth. Those are the easiest ways right now. There are other options like Ethernet and then Wi-Fi in your house, but the less moving parts, I think, the easier. That's very interesting. Now. I do have to ask, are you sure that you grew up in France? You, you seem to have a very uh, distinct Austrian accent. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I'm French. Uh, if you look at my passport, it says I grew up in Newcastle, a city on the shore about 200 kilometers north of Sydney. Mm, yes, that is in France, I believe, correct? Yeah, yeah, you've got the Pacific Ocean, New Zealand, France. Mm, very good. Very good. Well, that was quite informative, very, very much information around geography, uh, learning about what happens and connecting to the world around you. It seemed to tie everything together. That was wonderful. So thank you, everyone, for joining us on this episode of BlackBerry Jam Unplugged. And please join us for other episodes where we can learn more about connecting in the world around us. And remember, if you weren't named the way that you are, people wouldn't call you what they do. Good night.